Well, good evening from the Canadian Heroes Race Shop. Chris Eklund here. This is uh, something that Kevin Ellis did up for us in the North Wall Riders Association. It lists all the Canadian soldiers that we lost in Afghanistan. So I'll, um, long day at the race shop here. I know you've probably seen our, our, our office that's still not set up, but we did another, uh, another 12 hour day today. It's already dark out, sun's already gone down. So um, I just want to kind of show you what we've, uh, we've done so far. There's Fred there. Tuesday, what is it, May 29? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. May, May 29th. Um, still getting our car ready. So what just happened is uh, Fred just painted the car black. He's going to do a few more things tomorrow. And then he's going to clear it. We've been uh, working non-stop on the car. One hour of racing and over 100 hours of work on the car after one race. So... Yeah. The whole thing here is uh, we want to get together the absolute best race car that we are capable of doing. And uh, I think we've definitely have done that. Um, every little single detail that we're, we're going over, we spent hours on the blowers and the brake ducts today, getting them clean. Um, but there's so, so many things to do. We uh, spent a long time inside the car, clean, cleaning up the car. So, um, you know, just going over absolutely everything. Looking for uh, the slightest thing that we think could be a problem. I mean, even inside our fuel cell here. The guys cleaned it all up nice. And you'll see uh, Fred painted the back of the car too. So it looks totally different now, I'm sure, for, for everybody. It was white a few hours ago. And um, next door here, you will see the uh, car that's going to be our, our ride along car. Uh, working away on it again today. Pop the wheels off. So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to pull all the brakes off here and re redo everything here. And uh, just been cleaning up the car. And we're going to put some new tires on it as well. And we'll pull the rear end off and, and take a look and, uh, and see what's going on there. And I'll even give you a little shot in the trunk where most people put their groceries. Well, we got a fuel cell there. So just hold that there, would you, Fred? Thanks. Well, a uh, little bit of a different setup here. Um, there's our filter there. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to take the bladder out of the cell, check the foam, and then we're going to uh, uh, safely dispose of all the old gas. And we're going to drain it all and put in some new filters and everything. And there's our battery down there. We're going to put a new battery in, and then uh, pull the calipers and rotors off, and of course everything right there. And inside the car, been cleaning away. Johnny K just uh, cleaning away like crazy in here tonight. So tomorrow I think Kyle will go inside, take out that seat, and start to uh, wipe down everything there. And you can see, you can tell. I mean, it's been it's been sitting, so we'll uh, do some maintenance on it and, and check everything else. And then under the motor, Fred, can you? Uh, that's a little harder to get that one up, baby. She's she's a good a good a good tight fit there. So we got uh, we got a small block Chevy here, uh, 350. So we uh, we ordered a new carb, new Holly carb, and uh, we got to uh, put some new belts on and new pulleys, new pulleys on here, and uh, might change out a few different things here. Um, drain all of our brake fluid and uh, as well and probably put some new plugs in and some new wires or at least t test, uh, test the wires anyways. 
get an ohm meter out, Fred will uh, see what they're like. Yep. And um, so we're going to cross our fingers. Uh, we'll probably, I don't, I unfortunately, don't think we can pop the distributor and prime the oil. So I don't, I don't think we got enough clearance right there. That's one of the, man, if we do, it's going to be close. But this is way back in the day for, for everybody that's basically our age might may remember this days of carburetors and days of uh, you know whole vacuum advance there and uh, distributor cap and all that um, one kind of trick we do is uh, if an engine's been sitting for a long time there's no oil pressure built up uh, so we'll, we'll pop the distributor off take it right out and then basically get like a three inch drill or the little thing and we, we put it down right on top of the oil pump and it's just spin it over and in a matter of you know, 10, 20 seconds, we should be able to build up full, full oil pressure in, in the motor and then basically pop the distributor back down, making sure we get the, all the teeth lined up. That's the part I always hate. Because if you don't get it lined up right, your timing is junk and your motor will, you'll be chasing a ghost forever trying to figure out why it's not right. But that's all because of the timing is all out of whack. So, that is... Just a little shot of the motor. The rad seems pretty good. Uh, it's almost brand new. Yeah, we actually popped the uh, cap off. Saw antifreeze in there, so I'm thinking, geez, what do we got antifreeze in? Because with the race cars, you got to run water in them. Uh, so I thought right away maybe he, he did that to winterize it over the winter. And uh, there was uh, no leaks anywhere, so that's all is a good sign that the, you know, I would imagine there is frost plugs in this motor somewhere that they didn't pop out over the winter which is good and he had this thing right down to minus 10 minus 10 Fahrenheit there so that's uh, that's pretty good he's got a lot of antifreeze in it so and then we go over here to our pro stock car and um, we're just waiting I want to get a rules official out here so we can uh, get some absolute guidance on, on a few critical items um, that we have to do with the car so it's completely gutted now um, there are just some rules as to the roll cage and, and the fuel cell that I, I just want to go over with one of the rules officials before we uh, go, go any further with uh, that car. And with our uh, show car here, uh, we're probably going to do some uh, major engine work to that as well, maybe as a, as a winter project when we're, uh, when we're all finished. And then, of course, Mark's Jeep, and we're just getting the, our battle list uh, together on that. So that is the update from the Canadian Heroes Race Shop for May 29th, yes. 2012. And we will chat to you soon.